a fantastic machine from Steve Ritchie, programmed by Dwight Sullivan. Uh, some of the great dot animation work here. This is one of the first dot matrix display games and one of the most successful games of the early 90s. Terminator 2 based on the movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger and Robert Patrick and a bunch of other people. Uh, we'll take you through this game, some of the strategies, as well as the layout, and see if we can't really take down this grand champion score. Day. The skill shot on T2 is just a timed plunge into the white light from the auto plunger. You also get a few seconds of ball save time, and you can use that time to try and pick off the lock shot in the middle there. Hitting that drop target will return the ball back to you at a pretty high speed, and you got to make a quick judgment about whether it's going to hit a flipper for a catch, for a bounce. You also have a center post in play. So making decisions about where the ball returns off of that skull shot is very critical to success in T2. And it's a high degree of variability depending on the Terminator 2s. You can backhand that shot too. And loading the gun will give you a chance to hit the lit target with the multi-ball. During multi-ball, you want to try to load a ball into the skull as quickly as possible for a lock. The goal is to lock all three balls into the three holes. The skull lock is a priority because making a ball into the skull will give you a guaranteed jackpot chance. There we go. There's one in the skull. There's two in the back. And the third shot is the database on the far left. Oh, just missed it there. Uh, you only have about 12 seconds to make that database shot or it will kick out again from the back. The skull one won't kick out. There's three locks and the jackpot is ready for the triple. One of the five lights will come on and if you can hit it with the one shot, you'll cash in the jackpot and advance the try for a super. For a super jackpot, you must shoot the, set the uh, load the cannon again. That was pretty. Uh, load the cannon again. Ideally, you want to get two balls on the right for the left flipper and just start making shots to the skull with the one, the one clean ball. So this is a super chance here, and the, mold, the lights will be moving around, um, and this is just all timing. There it is. Lost my kick back there, so I don't get a second chance at a super. Uh, that's a 50 million super. And basically, if you have your own T2, the timing on that super may be different. That's the timing that I choose to use on most T2s when I first encounter them in an attempt to uh, figure out where they are. Uh, so. Going back around again to get another super jackpot is a good idea. If you want to get to a second multi-ball, the very first lock is on a timer. So you must get the ball behind the skull within the timer. And the timer gets tighter as it goes. Now there are two targets instead of one to make. If you can make both targets with one shot, you get multi-ball immediately. But if you only make one, the cannon will be available to you with one shot without a timer. If you, if you drain before you can uh, complete that target, or if you miss, the skull will close up and you'll have to hit the drop target down. If you have the skull open, it's usually a good idea to just go for it. Good music here for the super. Several different music cues in this game. Let's try to get that cannon loaded. Come on now. Yeah. Center post can really change the way you play games, that's for certain. And my shooting accuracy on the cannon shot is not good right now. Bye-bye. Oh, got that back, thankfully. Let's get under control here. Um, depending on where the shot is, it's very early on the right flipper, which is why I'm missing it so badly. It's like missing it late. Get in there. There we go. One more target left, and the top target is a real pain in the ass. By far the hardest target out of the five. But it is makeable. They're all makeable all on timing. And if you're having trouble, you can just change, move your head to where the target is so you can aim it. Uh, notice here that uh, I've got one ball in the back and it's asking me to load the gun on a timer. With two balls in play, you need one ball in the skull and one ball in a, a side lock. With three balls in play, you've got to make both balls in the side locks as well. This is for a double jackpot of about 11 million puts you back in the position where you can get a super. Here it's very important to try and get a ball trapped on the... Alright, got a chance here to super. Ball trapped on the left gives you a chance to carry a ball around. Ah, oh, missed it. 
just by a tiny bit, but that was a 50 million miss. Uh, the left hole will give you a random award. And there's also a series of awards in the left lane. Uh, security pass, return lanes, hold bonus. You advance these lights by shooting the escape route, which is in the middle of the play field. You get the first few escape routes kind of for free, uh, but after two of them, the uh, timer is very quick and increasingly quick. And there we'll see both in lanes here. This is video mode. Before this, I made the uh, I made the, uh, what was I going to say, I made the hurry up for a maximum 15 million, uh, which is a left, left lane into the right loop. And 8 million bonus for completing the video mode there, so this is pretty valuable. You can also pick up a, uh, an extra ball in the video mode, I think I missed it, but it was close. Good ball one. Uh, there is a second way of getting an extra ball, as you see now, a lit on the skull. If you get a high enough multiplier, and that multiplier does change according to the, um, it, it's reflexive. So, uh, depending on what game you play, it might be at 4x, or 6x, or 8x, and it may even be off completely. Give me a good one here. Give me a good one. Oh, security pass, that's all right. So security pass, let's go and talk about those uh, security pass on the ramps. As the timer expires on the skull, means I'll have to go back and shoot the skull again if I want to get towards the third multi-ball. The ramps each have five lights in front of them, checkpoint passcodes, sign alarm, both key CPU, and you need to shoot each ramp five times to start payback time. If you, if you combo ramps, you get a million just for making the combo. So uh, this is a reasonable way to play the game. If you're accurate with your ramp shooting, just ramp out. And as long as you can keep making ramps, you can do well, and then you get to payback time, where inevitably you just start missing every time. Uh, the left ramp action is probably the easiest shot here, the right ramp, but if you can get used to comboing these ramps, you will do really well on T2. Bad luck in the payback time, actually more like bad shooting. Uh, if you miss everything, this is the source of the you missed everything quote that uh, a number of other pinball machines have taken on over the years. Oh, that was an interesting quote, an uh, interesting display. I haven't seen that one in a while. It's probably associated with the shoot again. But yeah, being able to make these ramps sort of back and forth, left and right, if you can make those, you can pick up a good score. And this was um, a way that uh, we saw Joshua Henderson, I think at top of 14 maybe, uh, put up a great score on Terminator 2. And not much I could do there really other than shake the crap out of the machine trying to save the ball. Bad, uh, bad shooting there. And let's talk a little bit about uh, some other strategies as we continue this game. The fourth award on the left lane, which I have completed, is a free multi-ball. Uh, that multi-ball will have no grace period, and uh, it, will, uh, it, will, it will have no ball save, by which I mean, and the target starts up. So it's a much harder multi-ball than usual. You can also get points on the right loop, up to five million a loop. Uh, that's relatively rare. Players tend not to go for that. Uh, so we're going to go here for the left lane multi-ball start. And, ah, darn it, bad shot there. And that's the end of the game at 144. So good score. It'll get us on the board, but it uh, won't get us the number one here. So there we go. get the we'll get that down a little bit here. Uh, 144. If I say, yeah, if I'd made that 50 million there, that would have uh, put me another 50 million ahead. All right, let's see if we can fire up a real good score here on another game. Uh, getting into multi-ball is key. Also picking up those escape routes is key. These escape routes will give you an extra multi-ball. It'll give you 10 million at the top. We've got extra balls on right now, too. So, uh, there's an extra ball on the escape route as well. Multi-ball starts when you hit that first cannon shot. You do have a ball save, but only for the very first multi-ball of the game. So just bear in mind, this is not like most modern games where there is a convenient ball save available at all hours. Putting a ball in the skull is a good start. That was a little weird. Both the drain and the carom shot there. Uh, and now we're in a situation here where there's basically a free play. Uh, there is no timer on this lock, so I'm going to pick off escape routes here for a little while. Just keep this ball in play, and uh, then we'll get back into the lock when we feel like it. 
I'm going to try to just light up some good escape route action here. There's the fourth escape route. You notice there's the only danger here is not getting any big points out of this multi ball. I'm not going to put the ball back in the skull because the ball's already there. Uh, the escape route is available. That's the fifth escape route. There are six total escape route awards, and you can only get six lit at a time. So once you make number six, it's just not worth going. But now the escape route is fully loaded. That'll give me the first escape route, which is a security pass. And it'll give me a chance at the double jackpot on this low one. That's going to be pretty easy to pick up. All right, let's get a super. I'm going to wait for this other ball to come back down, try and trap it. Lucky bounce there and uh, shoot it from whichever side I'm feeling more confident on. Be patient. Patience really pays off here. Even on the jackpot shot, it's easy to pull the trigger too early and blow it. Or pull it too late and blow it, apparently. But that's okay, we'll get it right back in. 50 million shot here. Don't blow it. <laughs> And if you can get in a rhythm with these 50s, it's just so satisfying. Uh, it doesn't get any harder to both to get the super lit, the two shots, or to collect it. And I see, it. just keeping the ball trapped on my left flipper and staying patient. Uh, players like Elwin, and uh, what I really should do there is just let the other ball come to a trap and then try to do a separation. Like right here, I am not playing as efficiently as I probably could here. Oh, that did not look like a miss, but oh well. Center post is your friend. There it is. Alright, so that's three supers. And you can, oh, it almost got a chance to grace period that in, but... Maybe! Yes! Alright, so one last chance at the very end of the multi-ball to pick off another one. Boom! Alright, so there goes... Uh, now you can see why it is that if you're going to play this game casually on an arcade, you're going to see this is where the big scores come from. And the grand champion of this is only is 176 and there's 217 multi-ball right there. Um, and notice that by making the escape routes, I've got a lot of things loaded up on that left loop ready for me to cash in. So let's start cashing those in and we'll see what it gives me. So the second thing to cash in is uh, hold bonus, which I must have picked up along the way. Third one is return lanes, the hurry up and video mode. We get video mode here, so this shot will give me video mode and multi-ball. I kind of want to save that bonus multi-ball for as late as you can in the game because the multi-ball is just getting increasingly difficult. To, oh, I blew it. I was too busy trying to pick up those bonuses on the side. But here's the multi-ball. This multi-ball is more difficult than usual because the skull will start up if you haven't knocked down the target right before getting in there. So whatever the state of the target is, that's what this will be. So it's harder than usual to do that. And uh, now we need a second shot here to light the lock. And let's see if we can get the 3x here. Oh, that was a miss. Bad miss there. Another bad miss. Nice shot, buddy. At some point here at 4 seconds, 3, 2, 1, it's just going to kick that other ball out. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Grace period. All right, so this is the bottom target with the lights off. Let's pick that off. Boom. And now we're back into uh, Super Chase. Patience, patience, patience. Especially on these tips. Keeping the ball on your flipper is critical because you need to have the ball on your flipper in order to take a clean shot at the super. If the other ball is bouncing around right now, you won't be able to look at this. So just trying to hold that on your flipper, and if it comes to a point where you've got two in the same, just try to separate with a nice tap up into the database area. Ideally, you want one trapped on the left, and then you're making the super from the other side. Whichever one you feel more confident on. I should have been able to save that, but I did not get it. Um, I also picked up an extra ball from the fifth database award. Uh, not the database award, uh, the fifth 
um, the escape route award. And you can see now that there's nothing else in the escape routes. If you make it when nothing else is going on, you will just uh, pick up an advance bonus. T2 is one of the only games I recall that has uh, two different extra ball shots. Uh, there's an extra ball shot right there on the skull, which you get from clearing multipliers. In this case, I got it for a 6x multiplier. And you can also get extra ball on the left loop from the fifth escape route awards. Two targets are multi-ball here, and as long as you make one of them, oh, nice drain there. Bad, bad luck, but uh, that was a solid ball. Uh, It'll be held bonus, so it'll be another nine million coming in bonus on the next ball. And I've got one shot to go to start another multi-ball. Ooh, nice animation there of uh, Robert Patrick. That's actually one of the few animations in the game of Robert Patrick. And when they were making this game, they wanted to be very careful to bad play there to make sure that the, the player didn't necessarily know the term, that uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was not playing the evil Terminator in this movie. It was kind of a, a big spoiler. And they were, uh, the company making the, the game was very careful about that to try not to let that information out too soon. And, and you know, now the movie's been out 20 years, so of course we all, we all kind of know. Uh, at the time, it was a big, uh, a big spoiler to see that the Terminator wasn't going to be an evil character in this movie. And so, if you look at what's in the game and the artwork and uh, everything in the game, there's really nothing that suggests that the Terminator is going to be a good guy. Taking off the hurry up there because hurry ups are Q, cool. and uh, this will give me a chance for the two X jackpot if I can put this in the skull. Pushed the machine to the right as it was hitting off that uh, target bank to, to try and keep the ball in play to avoid a center drain. That's bad shooting there, and I paid for it. So not a good multi-ball here. I can pick up a single jackpot. I can load the gun in the next few seconds. Some players actually argue that it's better not to even bother with this because you're getting value for hitting that target down towards the next multi-ball. I just think points are good. Free points is points, so it's nice. And in this, in this case, I actually almost knocked the target down anyway on the rebound. Ah, bad play there. I should have been able to save that. So let's uh, regather and see if we can put up some points using some other strategies, like playing for payback time and playing for escape routes. Sorry, I meant chase loops. They all got names. So payback time you get by making five of each ramp, left and right. You can tell which ramp will give you the advance by which one has the red light in front of it. So right ramp right now wouldn't give me anything, but the left ramp would give me a level. You must make each ramp once and make the level on each ramp once before you can advance to the next level. You combo ramps, you get a free million for making the combo, and so you get a million out this way. If you're looking for a decent score and you're not a multi-ball player, this is the strategy you should employ in the game. It's also an additive strategy. By that I mean, say you brick a multi-ball and you don't get much out of it. You got nothing. You got no progress towards the next multi-ball. In this case, with going for payback time, even if I drain right now, I've got four-fifths of the progress towards payback. So by playing this strategy, I'm not guaranteed to get to payback time, but I'm more guaranteed to get to it than I am if I'm in the all-or-nothing strategy of playing for super jackpots. And so some players can really play this into their advantage and at least pick up a medium score and beat down anyone who doesn't happen to get a jackpot or a super in their own game. So now payback time is ready if I shoot the left ramp. Let's get that over there. And all shots are five million. Now one of the ways to play payback is to hop it over to the right and then shoot the left ramp again. It's a little slower, but you can make that and make that steady. I personally prefer to just fire away at shots, but from the right I make the left ramp, from the left I make the right ramp. And these are the same shots you've been making to get into payback time. So if you can lock your brain into thinking that they're just as valuable or important as they were before, you can pick up some good points here. Only last 20 seconds, but uh, there's good value. And there's no reason not to just go back and try to do it again. It's not any more difficult to get to the second payback time as it is to get to the first. And if you're getting locked in on the ramps, you could bounce over there. If you're locked in on the ramps, it's going to be fairly easy 
compared to the first time to get back to it. Uh, I don't know. I think this is a good strategy. Uh, I, it's one I, I often fail to remember to use in uh, in appropriate times. I think if I can get to a super jackpot, I got this game. And then when I don't get one, I'm boned. Uh, payback time is worth a while. I mean, what have I got? Like, I got 30 million out of the last payback time. I'm getting good shots here. It's 15 million here. 20. And if you're shooting, if you trust your shooting accuracy here, you can really pick up the big score during this round. Uh, I just made, what, five ramps in a row, I think? And there's six. So that's another 30 out of this payback time. 35 as the last second shot goes in. Uh, and again, you, you go back to it and you keep going back to it. You're playing the game in a very different way than we saw in ball one with the supers and the multi-ball. But this can bear fruit. It really can. I just want to also talk about one last strategy, which I don't see very many players go for, but I think is actually pretty, pretty mellow and useful, which is shooting right loops. No, it's like, why would you ever do that? But uh, especially if you get into multi-ball, you can shoot right loops during multi-ball with impunity. I'll show you what I mean if I can get back into multi-ball. Get in there, get in there on the timer. Come on, register. There we go. Three shots to multi-ball. Get the two on the bottom and one up top. Let's took off the two on the bottom, maybe. I haven't been able to double up yet. As long as you make at least one, you'll be able to shoot it back into the, the skull without having to worry about that timer any further. Two targets for multi-ball. We got the same two we had the last time. Left one. We gather. Backhands. Bad shots. Oh, oh that was uh, that was fortunate. The chase loop. Each chase loop during the ball increments 250, 500, 750, 1 million, 3 million, then 5 million. It's 5 million all day. That 5 million all day is uh, nothing to shake a stick at. That was the same value we were getting during payback time. So if you can push yourself up to the 5 million a shot on that chase loop, it's good stuff. And I'm going to try to put a ball in the skull here and then see what I can do with my other ball. That, stay up! You need an instant replay on that. So now I've got a ball in the skull. The second ball is in play. There's no timer here. Do whatever you want. And what my do whatever I want here is I'm going to try to fail to shoot chase loops. Chase loop. I was better at shooting chase loops when I wasn't trying for them. Uh, so no progress there. But that is a reasonable thing to do. If you get good at shooting the right loop, you can make five millions on that loop over and over again and put yourself at least in a position to get a decent score. It is not as valuable as going for super jackpots. But every so often you encounter a T2 where the super jackpot is really difficult to pick up, and then things like the chase loop, oh, that's nice. That's usually a terrible award, but in this case it's good. Free chase loop gives me three million now, and now it's five million. Ah, it would have been five million shot for the rest of the ball. Instead, it's the end of the ball, and hopefully you'll forgive me. Uh, let's see. Um, Last ball, let's go, let's go for chase loops and see if we can put that up again. Uh, we can also go for escape routes, or more likely we'll just drain instantly. And escape routes are uh, a bit of a challenge, at least the way I was. Uh, chase loops are a bit of a challenge. I try to just reflex and put it back in there. If you are if you are a good loop passer, like I am not, you might be able to pull that off in a loop pass. Uh, when I first saw this game being set up, I looked over there at the million plus light and I thought, oh, that must be the jackpot because prior to this game there have been several games with million plus features. There's a loop pass. Million plus on uh, Whirlwind, million plus on Funhouse. And I'm like, oh, well, it must be the jackpot over there. Well, it's the, as we know, the jackpot is not there. And I think this may actually have been the first game with a super jackpot. Surf and Safari had a super jackpot as well for Gottlieb. Uh, I'm not sure. Maybe somebody knows that answer. T2, the uh, voice of Arnold on T2 actually sometimes talks about the super jackpot and gets misread as a stupid jackpot. So if, uh, if you're playing ACDC and you get to a super jackpot, every so often it'll say, get the stupid jackpot instead of get the super jackpot. It's a clever nod to the... the Silence, difficulty people have in this game of understanding what the hell Arnold is saying. Uh, I 
would say though that if you are a player new to T2, take your pick between shooting those ramps for millions and payback. Ah, bad play there, and that's the end of the game. Or going for multi-ball through the skull for the super jackpot. You are it's a great game. Very well sold. I play. I must. I can't imagine how much of this I played. And uh, hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching.